pick up that can. I said, pick up that can. What I have here, folks, is the Russian PMG gas mask. And I know what you're thinking, hey, isn't this the Combine gas mask from the Half-Life series? And well, yeah, it is. In fact, the Combine gas masks are based off a variety of Russian models. I can imagine this one being the main inspiration, well, because of its appearance. Hey, look at it. It's quite cool, is, isn't it? Very, uh, very intimidating. Um, so, I bought this off of eBay, um, it came from Lithuania, had to, um, wait a while, because, you know, the whole virus. The reason why I bought this is, well, one day, I was walking around in public, and I noticed majority of the people I saw had on, uh, face masks, and I thought to myself, you know, I really need a mask for myself. But not just any mask. A gas mask. Yes, that's it. And I thought back to Half-Life 2. And I thought to myself, Hey, you know what? The, the gas mask the Combines wore. Whoa, those were pretty cool. I wonder if they're based off of a real-life uh, gas mask. And well, I found this. I bought it. And now I can't wait to wear this in public. For practical uses. <laughs> no, 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 that, that didn't happen. Well, I mainly bought this because, well, the Combine. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to cosplay as a uh, Combine uh, Civil Protection. Because, obviously, the co the way it looks, the color, it mainly resembles the uh, Civil Protection. Whereas the um, Combine Soldier, uh, it's dark blue. And the Combine Elite Soldier, uh, obviously it's white with the red uh, Cyclopean eye. But yeah, I can imagine buying this just to cosplay as a Combine. And uh, there's some things I like about it. And um, some other things I don't like about it. Um, now, obviously, the appearance, I mean, it's very striking you got this here uh this uh nose bridge um it's on the outside yeah but also i don't know if you can see this it goes all the way on the inside uh on <sighs> probably my best here folks yeah see that it doesn't b bother me too much. Uh, there's enough room between my nose and this, uh, the bridge. So, uh, yeah. Although, it's, it's quite a tight fit. I'm not going to lie. Putting this on and um, catching on my hair. Wow. Wow. Um, this here is the uh, voice diaphragm. Obviously, it's used to uh, speak through it. This could come off. Yep. Pretty interesting. And I can imagine this uh, being the uh, some some kind of a filter. Yeah, it's a little dusty at the moment. Come think of it, um. The M50 gas mask, that's the uh, latest model uh, used by the U.S. Army. They, I believe they use an electronic, um, electronic voice uh, diaphragm. I guess made for easy speaking rather than trying to speak through this, through, uh, this uh, diaphragm with just only holes in it. So yeah, this here is the um, where you breathe out, um, and this is where you put the uh, filter. Come think of it, it came with this nice bag. Got metal straps. 
And here we have the filter. It came with this nice cover. Just gonna screw this off. Now this here is an EO 18K uh, filter. 1179. Yeah, I guess this was um, either manufactured or issued. Well, yeah, this is probably ma manufactured in um, November of 1979. Now, the gas mask, it was um, first made back in uh, 1962 or 63, all the way up to the 80s. And um, there are uh, there there's another uh, model, the well PMG two, which is supposed to be an improvement on it. And well, uh, I, I really don't like the look of it. I mean, it's it's not too bad, but um, but um, I just really don't like it. It's they say it's supposed to be an improvement. Well, uh, yeah, an improvement, but also um, I think. While they made some steps forward with that design, with that uh, gas mask, um, also I believe they took some steps backwards with it. Um, yeah, but I'll get more into it uh, in a bit. But uh, anyway, um, now screwing this in. Um, modern gas masks they use um they use a uh, metal uh, screw. Uh, metal, uh, um, you know, the spirals. Yeah, it's made out of metal. This one, it's made out of uh, the rubber. It's molded. Now, that can be problematic because uh, trying to screw this in, it, it might wear off some of the rubber and um, it might rip off. So I can imagine this not, not lasting very long. In fact, it already, it already has some um, wear on it. I mean, it's still good. It's still in good condition. But yeah, this is where you really need to be careful. So just screw that in. Just a little bit. Okay. That's what it looks like. You know, I have to say, this is really big. I mean, really big. Uh, the um, the M40 uh, canister, the M40 um, that we used to, uh, we used to use. Um, I believe their canisters, um, canister filters, it was smaller than this. I believe it was yeah, maybe up to here. Uh, I guess it, that makes this slightly bigger, but yeah, it, it's really big. Yep. Wow. Can you can you imagine wearing this <laughs> and pull it pulls the uh, soldier's uh, head to the side? Whoop. But yeah. Um. You know, since this was made since the um, the uh, 1960s, I wonder if there's uh, video footage of our Russian troops wearing this. I can imagine there would be a footage. I can imagine. It'd be quite interesting to see this in action. So uh, anyway, on this side here, it's got a serial number. I can. Im I think that's serial number. And um, this this number, well, a letter and two numbers, C seventy nine. I obviously nineteen seventy nine, the year this uh, gas mask was made. And you have another number, number three. That is the size. That is very. This is very important because if you're gonna buy this mask, you might want to check with the uh, size. Um, there's a chart. 
for uh for uh this this uh gas mask uh size it's in russian so it might be a little confusing but i think there are there are um uh message boards that, that should help you out with this also well reddit will help you but uh three it should be um it should be medium or medium small or medium large uh, it's there are different it's a uh, i guess how you word it uh different sizes i can imagine um the bigger the number the more larger it is uh i can imagine uh one being a uh, small or medium small or small small i don't know so yeah very important because you don't want to it very, yeah, very important to look up the size if you're going to buy it because uh, you don't want to buy something that's too big or too small, well, especially too small because this thing is quite, has quite the fitting. I mean, it will just hug to your head and your face, especially with the uh, bridge nose. I'll be press, pressing against your uh, nose. Now, um, I want to go back to the the um pmg2 mask some things uh, it, i guess it, it it was supposed to be an improvement over this and one thing it does well one thing it really improves is the um the uh, manufacturing and uh logistics of it so it eliminated the uh the nose bridge here and another thing i want to mention is you have these holes here it's supposed to be like a carry it's supposed to carry this i don't know why they decided to cut holes out it could have been left covered up i i mean you got a bag here hey, you have a bag to carry it in so go figure but the pmg2 um it covers it up but one weird thing they did one weird uh, design choice they did was that here okay here's where your uh the this is the uh, ears are located they decided to cut out holes on both sides so your ears could pop out why why oh I mean, it's fine it doesn't bug me it's per it fits fine so I well, are your ears gonna su suffocate? Well, there, well, there's a reason why they did that. Um, so, well, obviously for hearing, but still, it's just I can hear just fine with it. That is a uh, really weird. They could have at least, uh, I don't know, maybe poke some holes, made made a kind of filter for your ears. Yeah, a filter to protect against uh, gas attacks. Yeah, or radiation. But yeah, they just cut out holes for it, for the ears to uh, come out. That is just really weird. But, um, yeah. Overall, for this mask, it's a, uh, it's a pretty good mask. Um, oh, the strap here. Now... I want to go back to the M40 uh, mask. Uh, no, well, also the uh, M50. It has it has uh, straps at the bottom, the side, and over the head. This one only has one well, c because uh, obviously this part covers your head, and you you only need one strap. Just um, strap this down like so, and pull it. And you're set. And, um, yeah. Overall, I really like this mask. I really, really like it. I, uh, man, I'm just excited. So excited to, to just finally receive it. <clears throat> um, yeah, this is perfect.
for uh, cosplaying as a combine. Uh, I've seen uh, videos of people 3D printing the actual uh, design, an exact replica of the uh, design from the game. Um, well, I guess, well, you could do that if you have access to a 3D printer, if you own one. But um, I decided to go straight for the source. The source of the inspiration. Uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna... No, I'm definitely gonna co cosplay as a Combine soldier. Well, not soldier, but a Combine uh, civil prote protection. You know, I've seen a couple of videos um, of uh, people. There, people were were um, inserting uh, electronic uh, voice changers. What they would do is um, the the part where you speak into, they would put it in the uh, voice diaphragm, and uh, they would have well, they would have a wire running somewhere. Um, yeah, I did see one particular video. A person. Um, he had the wire, he connected the wire, I guess he drilled a hole, uh, here, where the, um, where you connect the, uh, the, uh, jack into it, and it connected to the, uh, speakers, so when you speak into it, it comes out, well, through there. Yeah, I, yeah, I got, I gotta look that up, I gotta look up voice recorder, uh, voice changers. But it has to be um, either exact or um, at least similar to the voice, uh, the voice of the uh, combines. Man, can you imagine just walking around in public like wearing this and telling people to pick up that can, pick up the can while armed with a baton? Uh, let's wear this. Well, here it is. Um, uh, one thing I noticed. Well, um, I noticed there was a problem with putting on the uh, the filter. When I put it on, uh, all of a sudden, all the air inside was cut off. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if this thing was already used. Or, I don't know. But yeah, I, I felt like I was suffocating. <laughs> Sheesh. Well, I guess, I guess, uh, I'm not going to use this like, in like ever. But, um, I, mean, I noticed something. My voice, it sort of changed because of the, di well, obviously the diaphragm. Uh, but also the uh, filter on the inside. It almost sounds a little robotic. Beep, beep, beep. I, well, I don't know how it's going to sound uh, completely when I play back this footage. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty exciting. <laughs> oh, man. Just look at that. You, citizen, pick up that can. I say again, pick up, pick up that can. Also, if you'll notice, um, the voice, uh, the uh, diaphragm, it's, uh, it's protruding a little bit to the right. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know if that's a result of, uh, how it's stored, how the gas mask was stored. Uh, uh, it's sort of stored like in this position for quite some time. Yeah, ever since 1979, it was like this, a little crumpled up and uh, left in the bag. And then somebody finally decided to take it out and realized that this, it was the diaphragm was like this. Well, nothing you could do. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. I really, I really want to put a voice, the voice changer, inside of this. Oh man, yeah, I'm gonna have to look that up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look up. Uh, 
bro. Learn, learn this. Um, um, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. You know, I had to take off my glasses for this. <laughs> but, you know what? I do have um, inserts. Uh, if I can find them. Uh, I have uh, glasses inserts for my uh, Intro. But also, I have uh, inserts for the uh, gas mask. Um, let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, crap. Uh, uh, I'll find it later. Yeah, I want to see if I can try to put the uh, insert inside here. So that way I can see. But the thing I'm worried about is it might it might press against my eyes. It might. I don't know. I'll have to try. Uh, I'll have to insert them and see if that'll happen. But yeah. Hmm. Really. Imagine walking around like this and making heads turn. And <laughs> uh, maybe I'll say something like, pick up that kid. What are you looking at? Move along, citizen. Uh, I need back up here. Freeman, stop. Overwatch. I have, I have Freeman in my sights. Need back up now. We'll cross him back up. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. But yeah, sizing is very important. It is very, very important that you get the proper size for this. As I said before, if you get it too small, it's going to be really pressing against your face. Or if it's too large, well, it's going to be too loose. And, and yeah, it's going to be moving around a lot. This is just perfect. I think that after wearing this for a while, uh, it might start to shape to my head. It might stretch out a bit. Or maybe not. Well, we'll see. Yeah, it'll start to uh, shape to my head. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. This is just great. Okay, uh, before I end this video, I just want to thank my four, over 4,000 subscribers. You, got, you all are awesome. You are awesome, and I really appreciate it. And I hope you tell others about me, because, you know, I am fantastic. I am wonderful. I am breathtaking. As said to Keanu Reeves <laughs> during the uh, reveal of Cyberpunk 2077 at uh, E3. Oh, yeah, E3. It's, I don't know if you, well, you probably heard. It's been cancelled this year, obviously, due to the coronavirus. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. But, uh, yeah. But, anyway, um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you all. And, I want to add this update. I might, um, no, I will. Before this year is up, I will be, um, changing my, um, uh, channel name. I see it's like an overhaul. An overhaul of my channel. Sing Spot. My channel name, Sing Spot. It's not bad, but I, I need something more distinct. Something to really stand out. So yeah, I'm looking into that. Looking into changing up, changing up things around my channel. So anyway, if you up, uh, really, if you like this video, Make sure you like. If you're not subscribed, hey, subscribe. And hit that notification bell. That bell is important, after all. It's the only way, really. Well, one way, but the main way of getting notified of any, uh, any uh, videos that I uploaded. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you all next time.